Stem's door. And I saw her literally unloading her secret stash of sneakers that she keeps hidden in, like, everything from her purse to her gym uniform. Yeah, we have to wear gym uniforms like rejects from parochial schools. Okay, so not that M isn't, like, totally sweet, but how could you eat something you had kept hidden all day inside of your clothes? Excuse me just to think about it. So I took a good look at her, you know. Emma's tall, like 5'11", like my mother, but she is massive. I thought that day, I didn't know her very well yet, I thought that day that if I didn't lock my door, she would eat me in my sleep. She held out one of the candy bars to me, and I was like, thanks, but no thanks. I mean, where does she get them? It's not like they have a bookstore with t-shirts and candy and star stickers and lattes and stuff like they did at Starwood. I mean... I just waved and crept away from her door. I pretended I didn't notice the food on the bed, but she looked so ashamed. Taylor probably should have been helping her out with her obsession with food, but all I've seen our helpers do is reduce M to tears instead of a size 6. She should be probably at a school that concentrates on, like, you know, fat. She should talk about why she can't get through the day without 600 calories at, like, 700 calories of peace, you know? I mean, fat ballerinas have limited appeal. <laughs> she ate herself right out of the Concord Academy. She never used to be fat, she tells me in her notes, but her freshman teen turned into a freshman 40. I just have to hold on. I just have to make sure they don't get me 